Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to solve the second problem of week two of CS50, which is readability. So to do that, the first thing we'll do is we'll open up a browser, preferably a Chromium based browser, and we'll open a new tab. We'll go to cs50.harvard.edu forward slash x forward slash 2025. If you're watching this video next year, type 2026, press enter. And once we here, We'll come down, we'll click on week two, come down, problem set two, and we already solved the Scrabble problem in the previous video. In this video, we're going to solve readability. Click here. And basically, if you read the entire thing, you'll realize that the program that we are supposed to build is to basically de determine the reading level of a given text. There are a few things that our program has to do. We'll break them down. So in order to program our program, in order to code our program, we'll open a new tab. We'll go to cs50.dev, which is the cloud version of VS Code. We'll click on login. Okay, so we created this uh, folder in the previous video. So let's go to that, cd week 2 ls. Okay, let's create a new folder, mkdir. Okay, so this is the folder that we have to make readability right i think the spelling is correct mkdir so we have a new folder here let's go inside that folder cd readability press enter and let's code readability.c okay so we have a file here i'll increase the font size so that you can read it clearly so our program has to do a couple of things and they are if you come here and if you look at it first our program has to prompt the user for text and then it has to run some algorithm and it has to so if it is less than grade one your program should print before grade one and similarly if the grade is 16 or higher then our program has to print grade 16 plus we got it great so let's just write the pseudocode first we'll say prompt user for text and we'll store that somewhere and then we'll say find the index output okay so what i mean by find the index is this there's a formula that we are going to use for this particular program which is index equals to whatever like all of these things there are two variables in this formula the l is the average number of letters per 100 words and similarly the s is the average uh, number of sentences per 100 words, right? Fine, we don't care about that right now. Let's just write the basic things that we know. Okay, so also there's one other thing that we have to keep in mind, which is, so this particular part, where X is the grade level computed, rounded to the nearest integer. There's this word called rounded. So it means that we'll have to use the math header file, right? So to do that, let's come here, include cs50.h. Okay, so int main void, cool. All right, so prompt the user for text. So to do this, we'll say maybe just text equals get string text. That's it. That's all we need to do to take the input. So to find the index, this is the tricky part and the most important part of our program. Before we do this, let's just complete the output part because that's going to be comparatively easy. We are going to find the index, right? Hold on, where is it? Yeah, index equals to whatever. So if index is less than one, then we want to say before grade one backslash n very important what it looks okay so what we also want to make sure of is the capitals and the lowercase and the uppercase is correct so this should say before grade one where g is also capital right let's fix that and similarly else if index is greater than or equals to 16 then we want to say grade 16 plus backslash n 
else we want to say printf grid and we want to keep a placeholder here which is going to be d and that's going to be the index okay once we have done the output part we are going to move on to find the index so to do this there's one thing we know for sure which is that we are going to need three things right if you look at the index we need to find out the letters we need to find out the sentences right letters letters sentences and then also words right so what we're going to do is we're going to declare a few variables int letters equals zero let's start with that similarly sen sentences equals zero words equals one okay so why did i say letters is zero sentences is zero but word is one if you see here there are four words right nearly 400 years right there are four words but the way that we are going to find out words is by considering how many spaces there are so in four words there are three spaces one two and three right so basically the total number of words is going to be three plus one as in spaces plus one which is why we are starting our word with one cool so once this is done what we are going to do is we have some variables now we are going to loop through our input that was given by the user so that is going to be for int i equals zero and equals sterling variable that we're going to provide is text right once this is done while i is less than n and i plus plus okay once we have this we'll say if text i is equals to a space in that case what we want to do is we want to say word plus plus and then else if text i equals equals a period or text i equals equals question mark or an exclamation mark in this case we want to say sentence plus plus the reason why we are using only these three conditions period question mark and exclamation is because we already have that like that is a given thing and once this is done else if alpha only if the character that we are checking if it is an alphabet which is a lowercase or an uppercase then we want to say letter plus plus okay this should work so this is done okay so now we have calculated the letters sentences and words right hopefully this should all be all right and if it's not we'll fix it so anyway the next thing that we have to do is let's just copy the formula for index paste and hold on we have to round all of this thing this is super super important this type casting the reason that is is because like when we are multiplying anything with a decimal point value it's going to turn it to float but by using the integer type casting we are basically converting whatever the result is of this entire thing and then we are making it an integer which is good and now let's also change the cases because the variables that we are using are in lowercase lowercase l lowercase s right but here in the given formula is a capital so let's fix that l all right now hopefully it should work there's something that's wrong you'll find that out later so let's say make credibility presenter okay hold on uh oh wow of course we have to declare the type this is not python cool make credibility wow. letter plus plus semicolon very silly mistakes we make make credibility done credibility presenter let's copy the text or one of the text copy paste before grid one nice right however if we were to copy this copy come here run the program again paste it says before grid one also so what is wrong it's supposed to say grid two the thing that is wrong here is this is the part we are missing right now where l is the average number of letters 
per 100 words, right? Similarly, S is the average number of letters per 100 word. So the way to fix this is basically, how do you find the average of something? Average number of letters per words, L divided by words, right? Times 100 because per 100 words. And this is ultimately going to multiply the letters by 100, but we don't worry about that because this basically works. That's nice. Let's try if it works here, 100. And now let, let's make the readability program again. Okay, it works, no problem. Now let's execute the program that we just made. Let's paste the text, press enter. Huh, great too. That is cool, don't you think? Let's add a backslash n here. Make readability again. To make clear everything, execute the program. Okay, now let's check a few cases. So let's make sure that the first condition matches. Come here, paste, enter. Before grade one, which is what we expected. Cool. This we already checked. Let's try something random. Okay. So maybe this. It should come as grade seven. But we'll have to check. Okay. Execute the program. Paste the text. Grade seven. Very nice. Now. Let's check whether or not our program is correct. Come here, paste, press enter. Perfect. Everything is green. So the next thing that we have to do all the time is check the styling of it. If you want, you can copy and paste. But as I've told in the previous videos, I like to click on style in the top right corner. It will explain. We don't need the explanation. The supply changes. Looks good. Great. Let's submit our program. Come here. Press the command, press enter, yes, press enter. So the program is submitted and to see our score, we'll click here, command click, or if you are on Windows, control click, keep that in mind. Okay, so we got 11 on 11 for the logic of the program and we got a full point on the styling of it. So that's really good. So my friend, this is how we solve the readability problem of CS50. If you have any question, make sure to drop them in the comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. These videos take a lot of time and effort to make, so I would highly appreciate it if this video was helpful to subscribe to the channel and maybe drop a comment down below. There's a playlist somewhere on the screen, so click on that to see all the upcoming videos for all the upcoming problem sets. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.